with Honeywell. I'm the uh, distribution uh, rep the, for commercial side. For those of you who know Tom Giorgio, I'm his commercial counterpart. Uh, I handle the entire commercial line, uh, everything from clean safeguard to DDC. Uh, that means I'm a generalist, not a specialist. So if you have any, ex you know, need any expertise on certain things, I might have to bring a specialist in. I've been with Honeywell 36 years. It means I'm old, so be kind. Uh, and uh, I cover Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Western Pennsylvania, Michigan, Indiana. Uh, pretty large area. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, your, I'm your guy if, uh, if you need help with the basic stuff. Uh, Jackson Control here is one of my best distributors. They, they're pretty much uh, not needing me. <laughs> uh, they, they know what's going on, they know how, how the products work and so on, but I do uh, a lot of the training and I have some things you know I work with that they don't. So uh, I want to start off with talking about our VFD line. And I assume that's why you guys are here, learn a little bit about VFDs. It's going to be a, just a few hours. And uh, I'm going to go into how they work, how to set them up. I actually have uh, four VFDs here, which we'll set up when I'm done with the boring stuff. And I actually play with them and, and do a couple exercises on them. And uh, there's an NXS model. I have a couple of core drives and the smart VFD. Now, this was our mainstay for quite a while before the smart came out, and then the core is our lower end one. And I'll get into the differences as we get going. But I want to talk about why VFDs, what they do, what to look for when you set them up, uh, what problems you run into, and uh, things to look for. Uh, a little history, these are uh, uh, the Sorry, uh, the NXS and the Smart Drive are Bacon drives. They, they're a company called out of Vasa, Finland. It makes a Vasa Control Company. I think what Bacon stands for, or Bacon, as they call it. Uh, that's what it stands for, B-A-C-O-N. Uh, the drives themselves were designed in Vasa, Finland. Uh, they're made in the U.S. Uh, this is Smart Drive is. Uh, they're. Uh, uh, they're designed, uh, they, this company started, basically it was an ABB factory. And ABB decided that they're going to move everything to Stockholm. And the employees didn't want to go. So the people in Bassett said, okay, let's start our own company. And they started their own, you know, VFD company. And they've been making them for 20 years now, I guess, because we've been carrying them in Europe for years. And then we decided to bring them to this country. And we became their HVAC distributor in this country. Now, you've probably seen them under the cover hammer name. In Johnson Control Man. Uh, the difference is this one here is pretty standard uh, Bacon has Honeywell on it, but uh, the Smart Drive is more Honeywellized. It's uh, the this is more uh, industrial. When you look at drives, most of their business is Modbus, industrial things, assembly lines, elevators, things like that. HVAC has been putting drives in now last 10 years a lot more and that drive that business has been growing because there's a huge energy savings between drives here but in the industrial level they've been putting them in for years so billions of dollars of drives being sold in industrial and so most of the terminology on the drives are industrial so we came out with the uh, a smart drive we, we changed the keypad to make it designed for HVAC guys so it, there's not a lot of industrial terminology in there there is if you dig deep enough, you can get into that. But it, it was designed to be easy for you guys to set it up, get it running, and walk away. And uh, the core drive is made in Taiwan. This is a company called Delta. Uh, they're a motor company and an uh, uh, industrial power supply company, and drives fall into that category. Uh, they're very big, and uh, this is an industrial drive. Yeah, we Americanized it. We Honeywellized the keypad, but it's uh, uh, pretty nice, but it doesn't have a lot of the filtering that the others have, and I'll go into the filtering as we get into that. But those are the three drives we're going to be talking about. Uh, this is the most expensive. We sell less of those. Uh, it's a nice drive. The smart drive's been taken off because it's probably the easiest one to set up. Uh, and 
each one has their features, and we'll get into them as we go on. I got the, this particular presentation is the one I use for the smart drive. I do have a presentation, and you will be getting a backup uh, flash drive that has all the presentations on it and all the spec sheets. And uh, one thing that will be missing is the how to calculate energy savings with it. You can download that from a site called customer.honeywell.com. That's our B2B website, customer.honeywell.com. That has all the uh, um, spec sheets. And under the uh, uh, support and tools section, it has all the calculating tools for calculating energy savings. Uh, it has the residential stuff as well as the commercial. It's a pretty good site. Uh, it's a work in progress. It's constantly changing. There's training on there, so you can click on the training section. And the residential stuff is all set up uh, without a password. You can go through the residential training. You will need a password to get into the commercial training. And most of you guys are set up already with us as a BCS, ACI, CAC contractor. So if you are, you put that information in and uh, the guys up there in Minneapolis set you up so you have access to the training for the commercial side. It's only the training for the level of contract you're at. For instance, you don't need security training if you're not doing security. So that stuff that isn't showing up. But uh, there is a, uh, a lot of stuff on there. Training especially, and that's well worth it. There's a lot of videos on there that you can watch. And they're quick. They're in like 10 minute segments. So you're not sitting in front of that computer for two hours watching a boring guy doing training on what you're doing today. So, uh, Let's get into it, and uh, I'll start off with the basics. Why do we need VFDs? Well, everyone's talking green nowadays. You know, everything's going to be green. Use less energy, you know, recycle, all that stuff. That's wonderful. Uh, the big thing is energy and savings. Really, when you look at it, why do we want a green building? Well, we want a green building because we want to save money. I know guys like, well, we've got to save the environment. No, 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 we want to save money. Because it costs money to heat a building, it costs money to air condition a building. So if we can find a way to save money, that's what we do. And uh, savings is big, put it dry. And we'll get into a little bit of that. I don't want to make this a sales session. This is more of a technical. How many guys here are in sales? Okay, so we'll be a little bit of sales in here. Uh, and we'll get into the technology too. It's smarter, it gives you a better control too. And that's the advantage of using a drive. A drive gives you tight control because it matches the load uh, to the amount of output. Um, if you look at buildings, they use 40% of the US energy. That's what we work in. We're commercial guys who work in buildings. And 74% of the US, of US electricity is used by commercial buildings. It's a lot of electricity. Considering how many homes there are out there, you would think the homes would be the big thing, but not just commercial buildings. Uh, and half the electricity is used to move air and water, pumps, fans. That's where we come in. And uh, how do we save money? We vary the speed of the motor. Most motors are oversized to keep demand. You know, when an engineer designs a building, and you all know this, he designs it for the worst case. You know, we have a, a temperature design for heating that's going to be zero degrees. We have a cooling for 90 degrees or 100 degrees or whatever that standard is. For this size building, so many square feet, so many people are going to be in there. I need, you know, in the old days, of course, it was five tons is good, 20 tons is better. You know, they don't do that anymore. But uh, they try to match that load uh, to the size of the equipment to the load. And the VFD gives you that ability to slow down the amount of air movement or the water movement based on how much water there is. And I'll get into how to do that as we get going here. Uh, obviously, the uh, motor maintenance savings, if you have a motor that's, uh, every time you turn it on, it goes full speed, 